Hmm. Hang on, we don't want your butt on camera though. Do I need to start that answer over again? <laughs> I think that'd be a good idea. <laughs> So today I wanted to do my final interview in my room of my apartment. I absolutely love it. I've done so many different things with my rooms over the years and I feel like this is a very good indication of where I'm at in my life. I want my big comfy chair to sit in and cuddle with my cats and do homework in at night and I think my room kind of just shows the development of me. So this semester my goal was to take a bunch of classes that were going to help me decide on what I wanted to do with my future. Classes on substance use disorders, neuroscience, about the drugs in the nervous system. I'm taking classes on biomedical ethics, biology of AIDS. And then also I'm doing Hudson and Holland still. I absolutely love the program. I don't know what I would have done at IU without them, but there's been a couple of courses that really stood out to me the most. Um, Jennifer Poe taught a diversity and pluralistic society class. I had no idea about a lot of the issues in the world until I took that class, all the policy stuff and then like the cycle of of poverty. I'm pretty sure if I hadn't taken that class, I would not be looking into the programs that I'm looking into for grad school, but that class completely changed my four years of college. So being a double major in human biology and psychology, I definitely have a unique perspective on things now. They just weave things that you didn't really think about into a big, larger than life problem. Kind of, it's so mind blowing. It's great. Hi, my name is Kendall Riley. I am from Lagodi, Indiana. It's about 45 minutes south of here. Um, I will graduate in the class of 2020. Indiana University is really- Feels cool surreal. To like this, this video, it feels like it was just six months ago, maybe. It's crazy. Like I've learned so much. I've grown into a completely different person. Someone that doesn't, I don't know, is so much more self-confident and knows herself so much better and you know growing into my own person I've learned a lot about formulating my own opinions about things and not just believing what I see everywhere and especially looking at why I might be seeing what I'm seeing and other stories are hidden I feel like when I see those professors again and they're saying bye it was nice having you at our classes good luck in the real world that's when it's going to hit that I'm done with undergrad for sure The pandemic hit at probably one of the weirdest times as a senior. It was as smooth of a transition as it could have been with all things considered, though. IU was really transparent about what they were um, wanting to do for students and all the processes they were doing um, and trying to make sure that students' needs were being met as well as they could. But you can't um, get those last minute memories, which is kind of um, sad, but if you do college right, you should get some of those memories. I'm gonna miss a lot of things as being a college student here at IU. I made so many friends through the labs that I'm a part of and the professors are great here, but I'm probably gonna miss my friends the most. This really does feel like home now. So the next thing that I'm looking forward to and looking to accomplish after graduation, um, I'm really hoping that I can get into a doctoral program in either social work, health, psychology, public health, anything that deals with substance use and reproductive health in women. I'm all there. I'm for it. I want to do it. I hope I have my PhD so that I'm Dr. Riley. That better be checked off the list. Then after that, I would love to work for the government and go and do research in communities and then work on policy and law and just try to help those people that kind of slip through the cracks. I'm really proud of myself for putting in the work to figure that out and to challenge myself to be to see the world as it is and then to be curious enough to look up things about it and to ask questions and like talk to professors and talk to my supervisors about these questions that I have and I think that would probably be my biggest accomplishment since coming to college was figuring out what I want to do and being curious enough to actually go for it. Undergrad was exciting. It was cool. I mastered it. So I'm really looking forward to the next chapter.